Hello boys and ghouls, it's time for my very first official Let's Play series. And we're going to start off with a very special game. And if you don't know what this game, well, what the fuck is wrong with you? This is a cult classic, how do you not know this? Basically, it's kind of like a Saturday morning cartoon made by Tim Burton where it's like a camp of uh, psychics and something goes wrong that's all I'm gonna say if you don't know what it is because it's a great game human mind. I'm gonna shut up I need to remember to put on subtitles though fiber. five and a half ounces of cranial fluid 1500 grams of complex neural matter a three-pound pile of dreams. But I'll tell you what it really is. It is the ultimate battlefield. And the ultimate weapon. The wars of this modern age, the psychic age, are all fought somewhere between these damp, curvaceous undulations. From this day forward, you are all psychic soldiers. Paranormal paratroopers! Mental marines who are about to ship out on the adventure of their lives! This is our beachhead! And this is your landing craft! You shall engage the enemy in his own mentality! You shall chase his dreams! You shall fight his demons! You shall live his nightmares! And those of you who fight well, you will find yourselves on the path to becoming international secret agents. In other words, psychonauts. The rest of you will die. <laughs> oh, Maury. Children, you are not going to die. Well, if you're not a psychonaut, then you might as well be dead. They told me this was a summer camp. Ah, <laughs> oh, Dogen. Don't worry about old Coach Oleander. I've been Look at that fucking boy's years, teeth. Oh my god. Ever happened. Yeah, Dogen. Lily's right. You don't got nothing to worry about. Yep. That dude looks like he solely lives on a diet of Shrek edition Twinkies. You about. Bobby Zilch! I told you to stop scaring people with that ridiculous old legend. I don't want the kids to be afraid to go out at night and walk alone on the perfectly safe paths of Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp. And we don't want to scare our special guests, Superstar Psychonauts Sasha Nine and Mia Vodello. Whoa! Light Monster! Formation. Resisting. Quick, bring it over here. What is it? It's just a little boy. What's your name, darling? I'll find out. Kit! Get in! My name. Starts with a D. Is Rasputin. But everybody calls me Raz. Please don't kill us, Lake Monster! Compelling. Armored like a tank. Sorry I'm late. I don't want to disrupt your briefing, Agent Oleander. Agents 9, Vodello, please continue. Where do you think you're going? You've broken into a highly classified remote government training facility. I know. Isn't it great? Listen, why don't I just sit over here quietly with my fellow psychedets? Hey, how's it going? I like your hat. We need to have this young man taken from here immediately. I'll call his parents. What? But don't you train psychonauts here? Yes, darling, but... To soar across the astral plane. 
to wage psychic warfare against the enemies of free thought. That is what I wrote on the front of the pamphlet. Those words are why I'm here, Coach Oleander. Do you remember what you wrote on the inside of that pamphlet? You were born with a special gift. But the people around you treat it like a curse. Your mother is afraid of you. And your father looks at you with shame in his eyes. Come to Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp, and you can show them all. Back home, your powers make you a loner, an outcast, a circus freak. But in this dojo, in this psychic dojo, they make you a hero. Get that soldier a bunk. Now, darling, you can stay here for a few days until your parents come for you, but we can't let you participate in any paranormal training without your parents' consent. I'm sorry. Wowie, you're so lucky. You get to go home soon. Home? Back there, I was just like you were, Dogen. Punished by my own family for having powers I never asked for. But here, I have a chance to be something, to make a difference. They may come for me, Dogen, but they'll be looking for Raz, the boy. What they're going to find, what they don't expect, is Raz, the Psychonaut. And, and, and then you'll make their heads explode? No. Do you do that? No. Well, once kinda, but... Now I wear this special hat. Want to try it on? No, no, no. But he has mental defenses like I've never seen in someone so young. If I could just get him in my lab for some experiments, I'm sure he could withstand more than the others. That kid's one in a million, Nine. But I'm not gonna let you turn him into one of your guinea pigs. I've got big plans for that mind. Alrighty. Here we go, and of course, we gotta do the obvious and name it Ghoul. know how I should go about this because a lot of the charm of this game is like the personality of the students and the interactions you have with them and stuff so I don't know if I should like talk All over right, it settle down in here. this Big doesn't really matter tomorrow. I want to see each and every one of you runs in my classroom at 0600 hours on the dot I'm the early bird and you're the worms got it now Lights out! Why does this voice actor sound different from there than it does in the cutscene? I'm really excited for Psychonauts 2, okay, especially because I really like this game. Start. Though, with now, Double Fine being bought by Microsoft, you. is it mean it's gonna be now, Xbox that? exclusive oh, or Windows yeah, exclusive? Because I really hope not. At least I hope they put it on Steam. It's fine if they don't put it on PlayStation or something, but if they don't put it on Steam, it's gonna kind of suck. Hmm. Some of the old markers have fallen apart. You'll find bits of them flapping around loose. If you find enough of these side cards, you can put them together to make a brand new challenge marker. But you have to buy a Psy core at the camp store to hold them together. Keep and then This doesn't matter, this is just tutorial. Hey, where'd he go? That guy looks so familiar. Anyway, I had a huge theory about Double Fine recently. That, uh... Hey, Raz! Hurry up! You don't want to be right, late for basic whatever. training! Um... 
that with people not really liking EA being in control of the Star Wars video game uh, franchise, and Disney not really wanting to do anything inside of video games. So, you're dating Elka now. Does that mean we won't hang out as much? Shoot, I reckon things ain't gonna change one bit. Doggone it, partner. No woman's never gonna... Hey, you're gonna make my boyfriend late for class. Come on, James. Come. On. Ooh, she made him come with just one finger. Um. But with, like... Disney not really wanting to be in the video game franchise and stuff. They... I, in my idea, I thought their best interest would be to rebuild Double Fine as a Lucas Art Studios and stuff. Hey, where are you going, Malou? I don't want to talk over the cutscenes. That class is a death trap for crazy people. Listen, the coach is strong. At the start of class, he pulls you into his mind, and then there's nothing you can do about it. But once you're in, you can use these smelling salts to sneak out. Take mine. I don't need them anymore. I'm calling my parents to come get me before I get hurt. Too late! Bobby! Ah! Hey, kid! You owe me five arrowheads for this week's protection service. Cough it up, my loser. Or you'll be coughing up bloody tears. Hey, leave him alone. I heard a rumor that you were raised in the circus. Well, let me put this in terms you'll understand. I'm the strong man around here. Really? Because you look more like the cotton candy. <laughs> Benny, put this kid's death on my to-do list. Come on, we'll see him in class. Yeah, we'll settle this on the battlefield. Imagine how many candles you can make out of the dude's earwax. But like, with... Well, I'm probably gonna go into another cutscene. Son, do you realize that to take my course, I will have to pull you into my mind. And you will have to relive every bullet-scarred memory of every battle I have ever faced. It won't be pretty. Are you sure you wouldn't rather run around a bit more in the sunshine first? Nah, I don't have anything to do other than talk to people. I'm ready, sir. Well then... You're late, soldier! Now get in here and give me 20! I'm pretty sure you can control him while he's falling down there. Yeah, you can. Cool. So, this is it. The mental world. It looks like a dentist office. A mental dentist office. It's a recruiting office, kids. And I'm here to recruit you for the greatest job in the world. Being a psychonaut. It's about fighting a war for mental freedom. Are you ready to face torture, insanity, and death? Because this is your last chance to chicken out. Oh, me, sir. I'd like to chicken out, please. Too late, soldier. But you said... There's only one way out of here. Fighting. I want one of you chickens to sock me square in a jaw. I warn you, once you do, the war is on. Anyways, back to what I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted. But what kind of obstacle course is this? I um uh, kid just got I was hoping they would get Double Fine Productions back because they're a subsidiary of LucasArts Studios. And I was hoping they would get them back and start doing stuff like Monkey Island and Sam and Max and Grim Fandango and stuff like that, and possibly more Star Wars games, but then Double Fine got by, bought by Microsoft, and then 
my idea, which I thought was pretty cool, get put the rest, unfortunately. Relax. That's just a figment of my imagination. You can run right through figments. They help you rank up, and when you rank, so whenever you see a figment, come on. Most of this is tutorial stuff, so I feel comfortable enough hey, skipping through it. We all watch a mix. Basically, the joke is they're emotional baggage. Haha, <laughs> get it? Emotional baggage. It's cute. And then I have to go find the tag and get it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get it. You guys get it. It's cute. This game's very clever and has a lot of puns, and I love it. And I hope you love it more on the next episode!